Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look and I actually started out not planning on doing this look. A lot of things went wrong in this video. It took many unexpected turns. I really love the eye makeup. The lashes are jacked up like they don't even look the same. I love this lip color but I just really don't feel like it matches at all. It turns out to be a hot mess. I just love this look so much and I feel like it's so much color. This whole blue and orange trend in eyeshadow palettes right now. I just was inspired by that. I really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started. Okay, so sorry for this line right here. My lighting just goes back and forth. I'm filming in my room right now. Soon I'll have my own room to film in. For right now, we're gonna have to deal with this whole dark under chin thing. Whenever I sit up like that to film, I feel uncomfortable the whole time and I get really hot and like, I just wanna sit down and chill and do my makeup. So as always, I've already prepped my lids with my Asante Super Smooth Concealer and set it with my AO Studio Perfect Setting Powder. I mostly set the crease and the brow bone. I did drag a little bit on the lid, but I didn't focus like all of it on the lid. What I'm gonna be trying to do today, we will see if it turns out anything like this. I really love this makeup that Jay Kissa did. She paired this like teal with super dark olive green and I would have never thought to like put teal with olive green. She has like a peachy shade in the crease, but I'm thinking doing like a orange. This is going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm really only going to be using these two transition shades, this teal, the two ColourPop shadows I might be using. I'm definitely using this one, but I might be using this one as well. This is Slim Fit and it's like a super orange. This is a pressed pigment. And this is I O U. maybe to do a little bit of transitioning. As always, you don't have to get everything that I have in this video because I'm going to be pulling from different palettes. Taking my regular super fluffy brush, the E127 by AOA Studio, as always. I'm going to mix these two transition shades. Try and go in pretty lightly, I think, just because I don't want this like deeper brown to overcome the orange. Not that it will, because the orange is super pigmented. So I just really want to do like a blue and orange like kind of look. Blue and orange have been like this huge thing this summer and I haven't done anything about it. I could just do all orange on the outer corner and then do that. I don't know, we'll see if I even end up doing it like that. Maybe it will turn out completely different. If I'm thinking of doing like the orange here and here and then doing the like green here, I could always add the green back here, like the darker green there if I wanted that. Now I'm gonna go in with IOU on the same brush. I haven't used my ColourPop shadows in so long because I've had this Jack on Hill palette and I'm just like, why do I do this to my makeup products? The next makeup video you're gonna see is like a cool versus warm tone look. The reason I did that was because I haven't been using those two palettes. I haven't been using any of my eyeshadow palettes and I've already talked about this a little bit in my like full face of makeup I never use. I feel like my Jack on Hill palette has all the shades I'll ever need so then I'm like, why would I use my other ones? But at the same time, like, I need to use my other palettes, so that's why I broke out those two palettes, because I was like, these are completely opposite ends of the spectrum, so might as well... Oh, y'all don't even know what palettes I'm talking about, I forget. <laughs> well, you'll see. And it was all affordable, too. Now I'm going to dip into Slim Fit. I'm trying to, like, make some more lid space, because I know this is going to end up being... I don't know. And I feel like... This whole time I've been thinking about this look, I've been thinking of being just blue and orange. But if I add the green on the outer corner, then it won't really be blue and orange. Maybe I should add it like right here, put the green here. I wasn't even thinking of that like when I started this video, like it literally popped into my head as I was talking. That just shows how cool makeup is. I'm just gradually building this orange up. It doesn't blend away, but it blends really well. Now I'm gonna take my brush that I always build up things on the outer corner with E130, taking that slim fit shade once again. I'm kind of building it up in this inner corner. I don't know why, I just feel like I want it to be built up. I want the green like just on the lid, like not going up in the crease at all. So this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna take the shade, 
pool party. Maybe I should do like a glitter glue. You probably don't need one, but I don't want to put it on and then realize I need one. So I'm going to use it on my pinky just because I don't want to get it in a big area. So basically where this whole part of the lid is blank, I'm going to put the glitter glue on. I'm going to pack it more right here. When it comes to this outer part, I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and padded. This glitter glue can make a very harsh line. We don't want that. I'm going to take pool party on my finger. Ooh, yeah. I don't really know how I'm gonna blend the green into the orange. Or am I just supposed to embrace the harsh line? Try and get it in the super inner corner and then also make a line. I love how this blends out even after the line is done. All my other shadows, whenever I mess up on the line and try and build it up, it makes a weird line. This is like the best orange eyeshadow. I wish all my eyeshadows were like this. So I'm going to be definitely looking into more pressed pigments from ColourPop. I'm going to go get the other eye off camera. Probably going to do some lashes. I think Alexis lashes will be perfect with this. They're the only ones I use. I'm going to do that and be right back. Quite a bit of time later i went ahead and applied my alexis lashes this is a downside to these lashes they're not all the same and it stinks this is more like full and fluffy and this is more like wispy so i tried to build this one up with mascara to try and make it look full but now it kind of just looks a little more spiky they look like two completely totally different things but maybe whenever i get the lower lash line and everything done like that it will look better I also went ahead and did Wetn Lab Dewy Primer, Makeup Pro Felician Conceal and Define, Joy Studio Perfect Setting Powder, Black Highline Liner, Wet n Wild Skinny, like in the inner part to connect my lash band. Now I'm going to do the lower lash line. For the transition shade, I'm going to use IOU, which is just that lighter orange. I'm going to go in a little bit with Slim Fit and slowly build it up. I am going to connect Slim Fit all the way. I'm going to take Pool Party on the inner corner corner but i think i'm gonna wet it i really don't want stuff to go everywhere i'm gonna drag it to where it is on top i'm just gonna go ahead and connect that on the inner corner i'm gonna have like a inner corner shade but i just want to have that as a base for the inner corner i'm just gonna take it let me explain i'm color prop i'm also going to put that on the brow bone so that's the eyes finished i wish that the lashes were the same but whatever it's fine this one like cuts off before and it's like flicking up which is really annoying we're just gonna be like posing with this eye now i need to do bronzer bleach highlight all day jazz for bronzer i'm going to use elf light matte bronzer i just really try to rotate my bronzers i'm taking this on a f24 now i'm gonna go in with wet wild rosé champagne for blush f22 I'm gonna go in with Play Away Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter in Cream Puff. I haven't used this in a while, so I just went ahead and sprayed my cheekbones. I think I'm gonna put white in the waterline. For the lips, I was thinking of using the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Re Revere. I totally like butchered that, I know. This is so bright. Now that I have this on, it literally makes my eye shadow look pink. So we're not going to be doing that. So I ended up going with the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in Clay Crush. And then I also topped it off with the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Moon Child Gloss. I love this lip color, but I don't know if I love it with this look. It's fine. I mean, I really do love this look. First of all, I didn't even do the look that I was planning on doing. Second of all, the lashes ended up being a stinking disaster. Now the lip color doesn't really work, but the face makeup looks great. Even though this was like a total mumble jumble, everything went wrong and all over the place stinking makeup tutorial i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and also give this video a big thumbs up it means so much to me and also please leave any of your recommendations down below it would help me out tremendously if i knew what y'all wanted me to do thank you so much for watching bye oh this camera is nice and hot